Um, but anyway, the controller, when I look at the dual sense, uh, the, the thing that I fucking immediately see is when you rotate the controller and see like, um, how the R2 and L2 are triggered, right? Mm -hmm. They're set in such a way that it's exactly like the current PS5, PS4 controller where R2 and L2 are the surface like stabilizers that the controller rests on which means mm -hmm. that same problem of putting the controller down and accidentally hitting a button or if you're watching a movie or, or and you accidentally fast forward it and you're just, oh it'll never go away it's God. built into the whole design that sucks i hate that i want to go back to the days where the r trigger and l trigger didn't go past the base of the controller you're never going to go back to that because people want triggers people want gun triggers yeah then I'm like, looking at the Xbox controller now and the way that the triggers are recessed and there's like a lip underneath them that the controller sits on. That's that's better. Like if you can maybe if there's a way to to, you know, like I'd have to I'd have to go back and look at my my other controllers right now to kind of see how many do that and how many don't, but definitely that only started with the PS4 and up uh as far as the Sony controllers go. Um mm -hmm. I, I just I would like, even if there was like a like a way to rest it upright so that the buttons were facing you or something. I just hate when you hit it and the triggers hit. But uh, beyond that, they're not going too wild with the controller. No more boomerangs, obviously. Why the fuck would you? Um, and it looks like the share button has been replaced with a content button. So Boo. same shit. They're acting like it's different, but it's still a non-video game. Button. I I. I got in a discussion with mom on Twitter and it, it was basically like, I hate the fucking share button so much. It's completely worthless. Um, and the response was like, well, what do you mean? Don't you ever want to share anything on, you know, Twitter or YouTube or don't you, you know, want to take a screenshot? And the answer is no, I'll use my capture card to do that. Yeah. Um, and because I use that controller on pc regularly where it is transformed into the select button 99 times out of 100 yeah i never got used to using it as the share button okay but you see because... we are big content creator power users though so we mm -hmm. have that capture card set up however well, if i didn't have a capture card i wouldn't want to share anything anyway here's where i'm at I would occasionally want to have the ability to take a screenshot or a clip if something happens. Of course, you know, Xbox, record that. But mm -hmm. why not just put that on the fucking uh, PlayStation menu? You press the PS yeah. button, and then you just have a quick screenshot or capture thing right in is there. Is it so vital to be able to take a screenshot instantly? Is that is that, like, so important? It's dumb. It's so dumb. It, it's a waste of a button that could be uh, a gameplay button on the controller. So those of you who are saying um, not everyone has a capture card, of course not everyone has a capture card. But no one cares about anyone's screenshots or clips either. You do, because it's yours. Like, if I made a cool screenshot, I would care about it. But, like, who gives a fuck? I think all system-level features should exist on the system button. There's a system level menu button that exists to bring in system features. Every other button on the controller should be gameplay oriented because you yeah. want to have gameplay options as a high, as a priority. They should go back to that being select button or or back or you know whatever the fuck they want to call it. And if you want to take a screenshot, just hit the PlayStation button and like move the D pad down twice. It's it's just it's simple. It's like. I'm not saying like you know I know like I, I think it's it's stupid to say why would you ever share or take a screenshot that's dumb there's uh, but I think there's no reason that it's not the first item on the uh the the PlayStation menu that pops up if you just hit the fucking P, uh, PS button you know you can take the, yeah you know guys you I'm not saying remove the screenshot functionality I'm saying is it so important that it needs a dedicated button on the controller with in which a better button could go there instead. One that is shared on all the other consoles, like the Switch and the Xbox. Yeah, you see, the, you see, asking the question as a yes/no sets yourself up for failure. What you need to do is, like I said, describe the better scenario, which is wow, everyone is really upset. Wow, that's crazy. Here, the better scenario is there is already a button. It's there. 
we could just use that button to do what we need. You know what I would even do? I would go a step further. How about this? Check it out, right? Select button is still a gameplay button we can use, right? Press the PS button, hold it, bring it up, take your screenshot, or record your last couple of uh, 15 minutes of, of video, right? Mm -hmm. Double tap for an instant screenshot on the double tap PS button. Pop, pop, instant screenshot, done. Now you have all the functions you needed. You have the same ease of use. You have the same instant picture being taken, but it's on the system button and not taking the space of a gameplay button. Yeah, perfect. And no now problem. we have more room for gameplay functions. It's that simple. Like, as someone who's done a ton of fucking, you know, like, like whatever, you know, it's just, this is it's like, a... like, no, we need a special extra button that's like a bomb that you hit that covers the screen with the goddamn uh, share menu, or you can switch it to easy screenshot mode in which you hit it and then a beep happens and you're like, what the fuck was that beep? Yeah, the current state of things with the share button is awful. Um, and I really wish it could be a gameplay button, but this is where we're at. So now, whatever, it's a content button, and it's a, it's, a, it's the same thing, you know? It's, it's, the, it's the same button, it just has probably more features. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and you know, there's there a, a, a discussion was, ha was had, right? There was definitely a point in the last gen where they kind of, you know, Xbox uh, got together with all the, the, all the hardware manufacturers, had their respective meetings where they did realize, they're like, hey, look, sharing content is a big part of this gen. This is a really important direction to go in, making it easy for people to advertise and push... Um, our stuff out there by having it shared on social media is it's super important and nintendo put a fucking screenshot button on their console yeah and guess what it's right? in a place that you're unlikely to hit by accident because they still have their start and select buttons on it the last people in the world that you would ever expect to get rid of the select button got rid of the select button but not really because there's still a, a plus and minus you know <laughs> Um, so, it, so uh, I, I would I would like to to point something out. A lot of people are like, "Why is the select button so important?" And it's really not in the grand scheme of things. But I'm gonna hold up in my hands three controllers. Right, I have an Xbox pad, I have a Switch Pro pad, I have a PlayStation Four pad, which I usually use on the PC in which all all of them the leftmost tiny button near the analog stick is the select or back or minus button the only one it's not on is the ps4 actual use case on its console in which that becomes a trap button for screenshots or videos yeah xbox back button is still a back button it's a, you know it is there when you want to do screenshots, you don't have to. You don't have that dedicated thing. So, all that to say that um, they, they, you know, the the recognition that social media is ex is extraordinarily important has been, you know, clearly a, a pushed. But I really do see no purpose as to why they can't go the route I just described. You know, and the only one I can think of because they clearly must have talked about it is that the dedicated button pushes the importance of the feature. That's You're, pretty much it, right? Is that it tells it told you, people, hey, everybody, it's really important that you can share these moments, and people got into that. Putting um, putting uh, putting a screenshot and video recording on a double tap of the PS button mm -hmm. adds the function for those who would like it, but putting it on a dedicated button where select should be encourages you to do it and pushes you to do it when you might not otherwise do so. Yeah. It is an omnipresent reminder that you can share content that you're playing. Unless the publisher decides you can't. Unless they decide you can, in which case it'll say this Which is makes blocked. the whole the whole like the fact that sharing can be blocked at all mm -hmm. invalidates mm -hmm. the whole concept in my mind. Mm -hmm. Touchpad like it's definitely so stupid. Touchpad definitely has become select in a lot of cases, but uh, de facto, for lack of, of having a select button, it kind of goes to yeah. that, and you've got that. Um, I I think it would be rad to have both. You know, I like the idea of, uh, you know, because you can yeah. In many cases, Touchpad is going to pull up the map. It's going to maybe pull you, give you, give you your your weapon wheel or whatever kind of gestures or little touch sensitive options you, you you're going to use. Um, but like. 
we would be better in a world with more button, you know, with another button there. Mm-hmm. So anyway, uh, uh, beyond that, I uh, I saw a lot of color redesigns for the controller that are really fun. A lot of people are customizing yeah. the... None of which were official, but it, it gives you hope that they might actually do cool shit. Uh, they might do, they might play with it so that the white becomes a bunch of different colors and you can mix and match them. But here's the thing. I like the white, personally. Yeah, it looks nice. I think it looks very nice. I, I dig the... Uh, the Haiti aesthetic, you know, the the white on black with some blue trim. It looks very clean, looks very robotic. Um, I don't mind it. And I also can't wait to see what other color combinations we can get. Um, it can lead to some potentially really fun um, mixtures because, you know, in a lot of cases... Um, the colors on a controller are sort of like, you know, it's, it's it's one color or a texture kind of thing. And here you can have some fun, like like the Dio colors. There's, there's some people Photoshopping, you know, you got your Avas, you got um, yeah. Ebony and Ivory. We've seen some fun Photoshops, you know? And then the black, all black with the blue trim looks great too, so. Yeah. I like the blue they use for that kind of, that, uh, kind of stuff. The deep, deep blue. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I like it. It's a nice deep blue. <laughs> Hey, I got people in the in the in the chat mentioning like, yeah, until your white controller becomes all grimy. I've had a lot of white controllers. I have never seen them get grimy. How gross are you people? I've seen it. It depends on the texture of the controller. I mean like visibly discolored. Uh so I have the white 360 or rather the white uh X-Bone controllers I have are still mm-hmm. fine. They have the right texture for it. Um, they're, those are totally fine. The early 360 controllers, if you go back and look at them, they're starting to discolor. They, yeah, dude. They're like 15 years old now. Yeah, they're definitely... There's some, some of them are like, ooh, look at that, you know? But the black ones hold up better. Yeah. So... Uh, and yeah, I wash my hands daily. You should ha- wash your hands more than daily. You should clean your controllers. Gross people. I remember my PS2 controllers where the uh, the matte texture would become uh, glossy just from gripping the controller for so long. Like you've used it so much that like the handles are now have have now glossed down. You've changed the texture with your grip. Yeah, it's a it's a thing. It's a thing. I feel like saying something controversial. Um, I'll just finish my thought and say, uh, whatever direction we go with, I'm glad that we're past the gray controller. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I totally agree. I think that if you enjoy the share button, you are stupid. I think I just gave a pretty convincing argument for a superior configuration. Yes, you did. You very much did. So. And I saw some people going, but I show it to my friends. Your friends are stupid. Your friends are even stupider than you. Because, Wooly, I swear to God, if you if you came to me and were like, yo, check out this cool thing that happened in a game I was playing and it was like a screenshot I would send back a message going like what are you fucking stupid I don't care and you would have been like you're right that was stupid to do you don't say I do I do say um <sighs> Mm. Feels good in my chest. You got it off? Yeah, feels good. Mm. Yeah. And you know my favorite part is? What's that? The number one response is, Pat, that's your job, moron. And it's like, it's funny that you mentioned that during a podcast that you're listening to right now that has not one gameplay screenshot in it at all, which means that me and Wooly's voices and personalities are the true draw the truest value uh i have used the share feature to share my tetris 
99 victories. I yeah. have used the share feature to share my clip Virgil's downfall on Twitter, which uh, that's true. Yeah. Do you remember that? I do. I uh, I recently used the Nintendo. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, I don't even know what it's called. Share feature. You're lucky. Where, you did, you're lucky uh, you didn't retweet it. I was about to blow I your ass out. I, I put up a, a photo that I made of the Animal Crossing, and people saw it. And you all missed your chance to tell me that that was stupid that I did that, because it turns out that I created a content that you all enjoyed. Did Bam. you did you retweet that for that that Virgil's downfall? Oh, I don't know, man. That's ancient. Because if you did, then then fuck yourself. And I was taking pity on your poor share button <laughs> use. Uh, you know what I'm I also used to it for? You. I actually so here's what I did. I actually used it for Samurai Showdown to um to <laughs> to review match footage to get Bart to okay. to, to get yeah. better uh, at Sam Show. So I would I would like after a long set I would like record the set and then go back and watch it. That was actually you know what I feel bad for right now. I feel bad for the people listening to just the audio version because they can't see me trying not to break it out into a big shit eating smile. Or I'm like, me, me, they can hear me. it. I can hear it. They can hear it. I okay, can absolutely, can. I can absolutely hear okay. it. There's a tone. Okay. There's a tone. Okay. Uh, but yeah, this is where we're at on the controller. What a terrible feature. This is where we are at. <laughs> That's the. Boy, noise. I sure hate the share button so much. You know, and so for real though, my my specific gripe isn't even against the the usability of it. It's against the the share button specifically, uh, because Xbox and Switch have similar features, and they're out of the way. Switch hides its button in a place where you don't accidentally hit it, and you actually still have your select button. So it's way better. Whatever it's, the Switch version is, is much better than the share button. It's, um. It's parallel to the most important button on the controller on the PS4. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It is mirrored. The least, mo the least important button is mirrored with the most important button. You know what? The content button would be really good if I could uh, make it so that it's un. If hitting it does nothing, that would be the best thing about it. Giving people options is nice. Yeah. Well, anyway. So speaking of um, of of bannings and of uh, cheaters, mm, yes. Uh, it turns out that in Pokemon Sword and Shield, mm -hmm. when you are uh, playing ranked, that if you rage quit, you don't take the loss. Oh come on! Come on! Yeah. How many times? It's every. <sighs> Turns out. So, with that rampantly spreading across the ranked community. Yeah, once people discover that it works and tell other people that it works. All losses negated, all wins negated. Um, cause fuck that. All you gotta do is right before it registers the win, uh, you simply put the switch to sleep, and then it cuts all communications. Single button. Hold the button. You didn't lose. You didn't lose. It's like nothing happened. Yep. So, uh, the news is that uh, Game Freak has announced that they're going to be addressing this, and what they're going to be doing is. Uh, I guess, yeah, they're going to patch the game to uh, try to uh, detect whenever this happens. And if you rage quit, uh, there is a high likelihood you'll be permanently banned. Good. Great. Super. Yep. yep. So. It won't work. It's a pretty, like, one rage quit equals a perma ban is a pretty uh, extreme, like, it went from the worst case scenario to 
the oh, highest it's, it's strictest never one scenario. Rage quit. It's always like a bunch within a a, a, a threshold. In case it was your bad connection, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you if you display a um, if you display a yeah. pattern of, of of rage quitting at, at so quitting. it's like or or being a, a dirty red bar. Mm -hmm. If you only suddenly turn red right before the matches end, then uh, yeah, you can you can fucking go, you can fucking go. Yeah, so you are banned from all online features. Good. So you can still play the single player game. <laughs> it would be pretty That's crazy fine. if you booted it up and they're like, nah, you don't get to play this game at all. Fuck your system. You cheated yourself. You learned nothing. But no, uh, it, ba it, bar it bars you from uh, from uh, raid battles and from. I think raid quitters should have their. their, their consoles. I, 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 well, it doesn't matter what you're about to say. You can just go, go further. Why don't you? Rage, yeah. quitter, rage quitter should be drug out into the street and shot. Yeah, and but first they have to watch their their switch be shot. <laughs> um, first, before uh, before the shooting of the switch, their ranking goes to the bottom of the list. Oh, good. So they slowly see their points drain until their name goes all the way to the bottom. And then they take a picture of it, and then they smash your switch, and oh man! And then they double tap you in the cranium. Damn, that's crazy. That's good. That's good. So uh, I just have this fantasy of like people cheating in an online tournament in like Counter Strike, and like they got caught <laughs> cheating. And then, like, <laughs> somebody just, like, jumps in through their window and starts hit them, hitting them with a bat and starts screaming, like, stop cheating, okay, stop shut cheating. Up, shut up, shut up, shut up. They take your name. They drag you all the way to the bottom of the leaderboard so you have yeah, no ranking yeah. points. Then they force you at gunpoint to use the share button to share your shitty ranking to share everyone online. Name. Everyone yeah. on your social media has to see how bad you are at the bottom of the ranking. Yeah. But not like like not even at like zero, but at like one or two. So that it's a believable number. It's almost like, oh no, you played and you were this shitty. So it's not even a zero. It's like just way, way down. An embarrassingly high number, you know? Mm -hmm. And then and then after forcing you to use the share button, then you break the switch and then you double tap him in the back of the head and then you yeah. call it a day. And it's live. And that's the last it's thing that ever happens. Put, put the, that on ESPN. <laughs> the last communication they ever have with anyone in this life is sharing their garbage ranking online to everybody. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm going to be okay with the share button on one condition, right? <laughs> If by uh, by if by turning on the share button, it unlocks the shame feature. The shame in every, button, in which every time every time you want to share something cool, you have to share like a screenshot of like a loss or like a game over screen. Shame button. Now we're going places. Now we're getting there. Suddenly, suddenly we're fixing this feature. Suddenly yeah. we're improving it. It's encouraged. You hit that shame oh. button. Good old shame button. Xbox, shame me. <laughs> and he goes, doo doo. And it takes your screenshot and then it sends it. It's to, like, oh no. To everybody. Look. And then it sends it to, and like, even with your parents, where it's like, I don't understand what's happening in this game. All I see are but lines. I should feel and bad, I guess. Oh my god. And it's just like, well, you know, and then you just have a nice little guide video that's like, hey there, parents, uh, your son is playing a video game. In this video game, the goal is to do this, but your son was incapable of doing that. Here is a video of them failing horribly at a thing that this, this many is, people this... are able to do better. <laughs> no, you know what? It... <laughs> 600,000 gotta... people are able to do better than your son. So it's got to have that thing where you know how it's recording for the past half hour. It, it, Sony should invest in a in a feature 
that is able to like analyze the last 15 minutes and figure out on game over if the game over was embarrassing <laughs> and be like 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 you get a game over and then a, a thing comes up and it goes like uh we have det- Sony has detected that your last 10 minutes of Fortnite uh footage was I- embarrassing to the extreme would you like to share this? And it's got two two options, and it's yes, and the second one is yes. <laughs> and Fuck you try that. and back out, and it goes, we have now posted this shame to your Twitter. You fuck, like, like you die. Break and this feature. You die, <laughs> and it gives you the game over screen, and then there's a little thing in the corner that just says uploading. Yeah. Posting to social medias. <laughs> share complete. I, uh, yeah. Xbox, step on me. <laughs> yes, yes, this controller is now superior. Yes. We can absolutely, we can take it to the future. Content is content, after all. Yeah. The content button does not discriminate. You can you can get a free month of PlayStation Plus if you upload a shame, a shame vid that is popular. <laughs> Did you sit down in front of your PlayStation camera with uh no pants on and your balls hanging out it scans you yeah. with the, the 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 xbox scans you with the connect and it realized that your skeleton has your balls in frame at this exact moment it takes that screenshot sends it out lawn <laughs> sends it out right there the moment <laughs> you're you, no. mid stand mid stand your balls have been screenshotted and uploaded to all your social medias <laughs> no, Do you, you get banned probably you know what it is? It's you go to share something and it's like the camera has detected that your penis is very small. Would you like to add this? Would you like to add this data to your screenshot? It's like you can share this super sick victory, but it has to be baked in with a screenshot of your in very, very small penis. Yeah, and it's like one of those like uh, like uh, not it's not explicit. It's like one of those 3D wireframes on like those dick pill commercials that it's like, but like the before, and it's got like a little sad face on it with like a down pointing arrow. It's like, hey, dude, did you sign the EULA? Because the EULA takes a picture of your dick. Why did why did you sign the EULA? If you if you agreed to the terms, then you knew that it was gonna take a screenshot of your penis. And attach it to every cool thing you do content-wise. And then it goes, hey, do you want to pay 99 cents to turn this shame button into a share button? One use only. (laughs) Uh, Your penis is too small to use the share feature. No, come on. Hey, come on. I was in the pool. (laughs) (laughs) Shrinkage. Uh... You know, I mean, shit, man. <coughs> Face detection is pretty advanced. Um, I think the computers can no longer be fooled with shrinkage. <coughs> Even accounting for shrinkage, you're below the threshold. And then it uses yeah. the wireframe to show you the cutoff. Like, you, it must be at yeah. least this big. <laughs> and, then you, and then you hit So you it, see the wireframe computer... of what you could have? And then the computer is like, listen, man, I was going to shame you, but that doesn't look normal. You should get that checked out. And you're like, oh, damn. It doesn't know how to recognize my third testicle. Meanwhile, Tencent is just rubbing their arms like getting that dick data. Oh, man. Yeah. Getting that dick data. Mm. Like that dude peeking from behind the tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy somebody in chat asked how does this work for women it would determine just how much bigger one boob is than the other totally yeah down to the millimeter once again you have to stand up and sit down at some point in front of your console it would detect how flat that ass is oh man and it would just be like would you like to post this bristol board screenshot alongside your your cool moment Shit's no flat. <laughs> hey man if 
Ferris Fair. It is concave. 